Hey guys, and welcome to the next part in the Python uh, beginner tutorial. Um, so the last tutorial we learned how to do just base, uh, do basic math operations within Python, or more specifically within idle right here. Um, today we're going to learn what variables are and how to store information inside of variables and how they are useful. So the first thing you want to do uh, when creating a variable uh, well, actually, let me back up. So last video, we did things like we just typed in 3 plus 4, and that gave us 7. But once this spit out 7, nowhere else in our code that we've got here um, can we use it. It's just gone. It just spits it out to the screen, and it doesn't exist anymore. Um, so say we want to store that so we can use it later on in our code. Well, you would use variables for that. So the way you would make a variable, you would type it like this. We'll just make one called cat and we'll assign it the number two. Um, so as you can see, the way this works, I just typed a word here, and this word can be anything. Um, and this is what the name of our variable is. Uh, now there are some rules to the naming convention on variables. Uh, it has to start um, with a lowercase. It can be a capital, although you don't really want to do this. Uh, always make it lowercase. Uh, there are some instances where you want to capitalize it, but I'll get to that later on. Just no, always make it a lowercase letter for right now. Um, you can also make it start with an underscore. And again, I wouldn't do this. Uh, we'll learn when you would start it with an underscore. Uh, there's certain reasons why you would make one with an underscore. But for right now, just always make your variables just all lowercase. Um, and if you want to make it two words, you would put an underscore before the word. So we'll make one called like cat power. So we'll make cat power equal four, and that's how you would type like a two-word variable. Um, you wouldn't; it doesn't let you put uh, like a space like that because it's going to be like, yeah, syntax error. That's not allowed. So just put underscores if you want to want to make it two words. Um, so we have a variable called cat, and we're assigning it the number two. Um, so now anywhere in our code, if I type cat it's gonna know, oh, cat, well, that's the number two, and it spits it out to the screen. So that's cool, so anywhere in our code, if I type cat, we can act, we can retrieve this variable, um, that's the number two. And we can also change it, so if I wanna go cat, assign it the number four, now, now when I type in cat, now it spits out the number four. And let me, let me adjust this here, there we go. Um, that's cool, you can also do, uh, you can take like math operations and assign them to variables as well. So now if we want to make another variable called uh, dog, and we'll, uh, we'll assign it three plus parentheses, well, three plus parentheses, four plus two. So this should give us 18. So if we enter dog, oh sorry, nine. So sorry, four plus six, or four plus two is six, six plus three is uh, nine. So dog is gonna be nine. And then what we can also do, we can treat these like uh, like we can do cat plus dog. So when the when the interpreter reads this, it says cat. Okay, that equals four. So put a four there. Uh, you're wanting to add something to it, and then dog equals nine. So four plus nine equals thirteen. Um, so you see how we can store numbers inside of variables and use them in future parts of our code. But you can also store other things inside of variables like uh, words and names and, and characters. And you do it pretty much the same way. So we'll make a variable called name. And we'll assign it the word bill. So now anywhere I type name, I get the word bill. Um, and remember when you're storing a, these are called strings. When you have a list of characters or just a single character, in Python it's called a string. Um, I put single quotes around it. You can put double quotes around it too, so I could do name equals bill with double quotes, and it'll work just the same. Uh, just know that other programming languages, that's not the case. Uh, usually single quotes are used for like a single character. Double quotes are used for um, uh, like more than one character. Uh, but Python, it doesn't matter. Just use whatever you want. Um, now you might wonder what's going to happen if we do something like cat, which is the number four, and we add the variable name to it. And remember, name's a word, so if we do four plus bill, 
what's going to happen. And you actually get an error message. And get used to seeing these because you will see these a lot. Um, the biggest part of programming is learning how to read these error messages. And this is a good one right here. So usually when I see these error messages, uh, the first place I want to look is at the very bottom because it usually gives you the most um, most inf uh, key information that you need to solve the problem. Um, so it'll say like type error, unsupported operand types for addition, integer and string. So th at first that sounds confusing, but you'll get used to reading these and know what they mean. Uh, so pretty much it says we're trying to do addition on an integer and a string, which doesn't make sense. Like how can a computer do that? It doesn't know you can't add a number to words. Um, so that's that's what it's complaining about. So cat plus name, it doesn't make sense. But if we changed cat to a word like uh, Bob, and then we did cat plus name, so now we have a string being added to a string, and you actually can do that. And what it does is it just takes both the strings and squishes them together. So, or it's called concatenating. It concatenates them together. So now we have Bob Bill. Um, so let's make a couple more variables. Um, we can have like x equals two and y equals ten, and you can do x plus y, of course, and that equals twelve. And then you can do x minus y, which is going to equal negative eight. Um, one thing that's cool, we can make a new variable called z and make it uh, or and assign it x plus y. So x is two, y is ten. If we add them together, that's 12, and we have a new variable that we're going to do that we're going to call z, and it equals x plus y. So now that should be 12. So if we print out z, it should be 12. Um, so the only thing we've really done in this video is stored uh, integers and strings into uh, variables, but there are other types as well. Um, you have integers, floating point numbers, which you saw in the last video. Those are the uh, numbers you see with decimals, like 4.0. And those are technically separate types from integers. They're treated differently. Um, so you have integers, floating point numbers, strings, uh, we have lists, dictionaries, tuples, which we'll get into further on down the line. Uh, Boolean values, which is just a value that can be true or false. Um, and there's like two or three others, but I'll make videos on each one of those later because some of them are more complex than others. Um, but this is good for this video right here, uh, just showing you how to create variables and store things into variables. And you can assign values of variables into new variables and use these uh, use these variables throughout your code. Um, so yeah, in the next video, we'll, I'll probably go over all the different types that are in Python, and it'll be like, what is an integer, what's a float, what's a string, what's a boolean. I'll go over all those in the next video. So have a good one.